and I've been in my kids' life from the beginning. Like, they and they know me, and I'm involved, not just in their life, I'm in school too. I, I'm the pre I've been the president of PTA since 2003. Yeah, I was long before Obama, I'm the first black president. Yeah, I'm talking about in a white woman dominated sport, you understand me? Yeah. Let me tell you how I became the president of the PTA. I'm at my first PTA meeting. I'm sitting in there. This old white man came and sat down next to me. The lady's up there talking, and the man tapped me. He said, hey. I'm tired of hearing her goddamn voice. <laughs> you know, I know how this go. Maybe he lost the race to her or something. Or he kicked off the board, I don't know. But I just respond back, I say, hey, I think that she has a pretty nice voice. The man tapped me again. Hey, now nah, you don't understand. She been the president of the PTA for the last three years, and I'm tired of hearing her goddamn boy. He, he, he loud, he loud. This is when you start letting people know that you're not with somebody. <laughs> the lady is up there talking. The man taps me again. sitting there, I was thinking, you should run for president. I said, what? He said, you should run for president. This is my, this is my first meeting. I should just say no. But here, I, I'm all being goofy as hell up to my, you think I can win? <laughs> He's like, I'll vote for you. <laughs> so this is a, this first meeting, and they still got to pick officers. So I sign up. I see the little list. I sign up. Huh, running for president. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving, right? The lady name is Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith is far more aggressive than I thought. <laughs> I'm getting ready to leave. Mrs. Smith has pulled her vehicle in front of my vehicle where I cannot go forward. And she is getting out of her car. This lady is getting out of her car. She's walking towards my car. I roll my window. Who this crazy that white lady? <laughs> The lady gets to my car and with her ring, and she knocks on my window. Cat, cat, cat. Cat, 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 cat. Roll it down, roll it down. I just cracked my window a little bit. I said, what's up? That lady is talking all in the crack of my window. I heard that you gonna run for president. Just know you will lose. <laughs> I started rolling her lips up in that window. <laughs> I'm not about to let this lady talk crazy to me like this. But I'm not gonna yell out my window. I'm getting out the car because my baby is in the car. I get out. Wait a minute, Mrs. Smith. Let me let you know something. 
I'm going to run a hell of a campaign. I am a very formidable opponent. You understand me, Mrs. Smith? <laughs> and then I glanced and looked in her car. The white man who told me to run was in her car. <laughs> Mr. Smith then set me up. I won, I won. A lot of people was tired of her shit. Now the problem with me winning is now I'm up here at this school and they done gave me a lot of power. I'm not just a PTA president, I'm a volunteer at this school. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm there in the morning. Yep. And they didn't gave me something I always wanted. They didn't gave me that stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting this stop sign since I was a kid. <laughs> this man named Charles tried to come in every morning the wrong way. I hit his ass with the stop sign. Come on, Charles, stop playing with me. Go around, dog. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, Charles. Shit. Yeah. Come on, pop. Come on now, Wendy. Stop playing. Come on, Wendy. Come on with that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm up here at the school. And I'm and I'm, I'm doing stuff, man. I'm PTA president. I'm volunteer. So now I get a chance to see things that's going on at this school. Yeah, I'm up here. And um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I, I, I've, been, I've been suspended a couple of times as a PTA president. <laughs> <laughs> been suspended. I'm talking, these been very honorable suspensions though. They put me on ice a couple of times. Um, first time, you know, they had to bring me back. They knew what it was. Um, when I took over the PTA, they had $300 in the PTA, $300. Um, when I got suspended the first time, we had $18,2700. <laughs> we had a lot of money in that thing. Um, I don't know if y'all have um, field days out here in, at the school with y'all little middle school. We had a little field day situation where they bring in cotton candy and popcorn. Um, my cousin had a little brownie recipe that we had implemented. It was going well amongst the parents and the teachers. <laughs> you know, they wouldn't even know nothing if all these parents wasn't showing up without volunteering. They just in line. You, you, you came to volunteer? No, I just came for the brownies. I'm going back to work. <laughs> Goddamn parents dry snitching and shit. Um, so I got suspended for that. They brought me back. Um, I had a, um, I had another little altercation, little light little altercation um, with the, you know, School boy want to talk to me, um, so it was a it was a couple of mass shootings that happened, right? And I'm I'm the I'm the PTA president, so I got to do what I need to do to defend my school. I, I'm not I can't concern myself about other people's schools. I got to defend my school. So you know sometimes I can be conventional, and other times I can be a little unconventional in my in my you know, when my, my kid's concerned. So my daughter goes there, and then I'm protecting other people's children. Um, I employed some, um... <laughs> I, I employed, um, some fellas. <laughs> from, my, from my old neighborhood that, you know, wasn't doing nothing, they unemployed. Trying to, you know, I'm trying to move the economy forward. <laughs> and 
And so sometimes people don't know how to utilize certain people. You know, you, you got to know how to utilize people. FBI know how to utilize people. I, got, I didn't get this just out of my own brain. I got this from watching a, a movie that I saw where something was being utilized. Brother, let me, um, let me get your foot down that way because, see, if I come this way and step on your foot, then you lawsuit me because I got a little bread. Don't do me like that. <laughs> so um, this is the thing. Because you in my workspace. <laughs> I step on his foot, I was like, I didn't broke his toe. Now, <laughs> y'all, he bullshit. <laughs> so, so I employed these guys that I know, right? And, and some members. <laughs> what you do? I ain't, did, I, did I bring that heat on you? Or, okay, he just asked you about something else? Okay, cool. <laughs> I ain't know what he said. I ain't want to come over there and keep your motherfucking foot down all the goddamn shit. I ain't, I ain't know what he said. I was just making sure that. I ain't, I ain't, okay, he brought you a to-go box. Okay, okay. I ain't want to be the one. He was like, look, Ali got the motherfucking people jumping on me and shit now. Okay. <laughs> so, some of my. Some of my friends, right? I, I gave some assignments. I said, hey man, look, y'all boys ain't doing nothing. I'ma um I'ma pay y'all twenty dollars an hour. You know, I need about twelve people. And I need y'all on different corners of the school. You can just be in your vehicle, you know, but just watch the school and make sure nobody come up to the school with no funny business. Them boy like, shit, we can stay in our car. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gotta get out the car unless you see something suspicious. She what time you need to be up there? <laughs> school lady in at eight. Man, I'm saying about seven before school. Shit, we be there. Shit, we there. We there, baby. On everything. And they there, they there. Whole school year, I'm paying this money out from the PTA fund. <laughs> Making sure the school is safe. Everything's going well, right? <laughs> Don't nobody know nothing's happening. These same cars out there, and they, you know, they switch corners where they got the school covered. And these boys are dedicated. Now they, they dedicated to it. They got shirts. <laughs> <laughs> this, this boy say, these boys got shirts. Say PTA Patrol. These boys got shirts. <laughs> and they in the, and they just chilling. They doing what they doing in they car. Everything goes awry. Steve, right? <laughs> Father Steve, I've been knowing the man. He's been, his children are in my daughter's class. He is coming to school, moving way too fast <laughs> with lunch. He done forgot one of the children's lunch, and he got a little bag, and he moving too fast. <laughs> And them boys is like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> the fuck is this white man doing with this goddamn bag? Them boys, nah. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm getting the phone call. Yeah, we got an assailant down here. Yeah, get down here. He asking for you. He talking about he know you. We about to peel his shit up. <laughs> Man, they got this boy in the back of an Astro van. <laughs> and 
These boys these boy got a parent. They got a parent just duct taped to this. But I don't know. I don't know the parent. I come over there like the mob. I'm coming over there. <laughs> Open the van up. Open the van up. <laughs> oh, damn. Man, that's Steve, man. Steve cried. <laughs> Boy, yeah, you show his teeth, you show his teeth. Man, unravel that man. Steve, I'm going to the board. Hey, Steve, don't, don't be in here threatening. Don't be in here threatening, Steve. Put the tape back on it. We need to talk. <laughs> now, Steve, listen to me, Steve. Steve went to the board still. No matter what I did. <laughs> but I talked my way back because they, they understood my plight, you know. This last one they wasn't gonna they weren't gonna forgive me for. And this is the one that I felt the best about. I felt the best about doing this one. So, it's this little white boy at the school named Alexander, right? And me and Alexander got something in common. Alexander's a small little boy. And I used to be a small little boy, because I'm a small little man. <laughs> and the difference is, Alexander don't come from the same type of family I come from. See, I come from a family that has already galvanized me against the world. So I was never teased. I was never bullied. None of that, never. My whole entire life, I would, I would love to see somebody try to bully me. I would love it. I would love you to see you bring some more people because that's what you're going to need. You're going to need some more people and I still don't believe you. Because <laughs> if you need somebody, that means you're scared. If you need a weapon, that means you're scared. If you try to jump me, that means you scared. And that, and that, that, that rails me up, because I know you scared. And this comes from my grandmother. It comes from my grandmother. I'm never going to let nobody do nothing to me because of my grandmother. From the time I was six years old, that lady snatched me up. I got snatch grab in the house. When you get, when you get lift off your feet. <laughs> that lady said to me, let me tell you something, little boy. Either you fight in the street or you come in here and you fight me. I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't fight my grandma. And you couldn't run in the house in my family. Okay. Ain't no running in the house. You run in the house, you're going to get your ass taken right back outside. This is by the women. This ain't even the men. This is my mama and my aunts. So I'm not in that realm of getting teased and bullied. If, you, if your children are getting teased and bullied, that means your family has done a disservice to these kids. I would, I never got teeth. Kids, children would try to say shit to me, your eyes big. How I'm gonna get mad and even let that shit affect me when full grown ass adults been teasing me since I was a child? <laughs> I'm six years old. My Uncle Mac, I live in Houston. My Uncle Mac walked into a room and said, hey, little boy, let me ask you a favor. Did you do me a favor? I'm getting ready to go to Oklahoma. I need you to look towards Oklahoma <laughs> and tell me what the traffic look like. <laughs> my uncle is saying my eyes are so big <laughs> that I can look towards Oklahoma <laughs> and tell him what's going on. I said, what? And he doubled down on shit. Big out ass little boy. Look towards Oklahoma and tell me what the traffic look like. 
I was six years old when this man said that to me. In my family, I'm so uncomfortable with compliments because of the shit that was done to me in my family. My Uncle Alfred, I have a gap in my teeth. That's a gap. Gap. It was a little wider when I was a child. My Uncle Alfred walked into a room and he saw me. He said, hey, nephew. Man, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Man, I ain't did nothing for you in a long time. Man, come here and let me put some change in that piggy bank. <laughs> did you just try to slide change in my mouth? I'm seven. So I have a connection to the small little white boy that I've been seeing. They've been teasing him. They've been bullying him. Nobody's helping him. His parents ain't saying nothing. The teachers ain't saying nothing. I'm seeing it. I'm sick of it. So now I got to say something. Now, that may have been a little hood. <laughs> now, I pulled him over. I saw him in the hallway. I was like, <laughs> Let me holler at you real quick. I said, man, stay right here. Stay right here. Don't. Don't look at me. I don't want nobody to know I'm talking to you. <laughs> Just stay right there. Stay right there. Look here. Look here. Look here. I see what's going on with you. And I don't like this. Not one bit. I don't like none of it. You understand me? Now I'm going to tell you from one small man to another <laughs> what you're going to have to do. And it's going to sound a little crazy to you. Pay attention. <laughs> It's gonna sound a little crazy to you, but it's gonna work. <laughs> you gonna have to bite one of them in the face. <laughs> like no warning or nothing. You catch one of them sitting down, ha! right to the face, you understand me? Now I'm off to do some more volunteer work around the school, right? I'm on, I'm on cafeteria duty. I'm on cafeteria duty. And while I'm on cafeteria duty, I hear, I hear on the other side of the cafeteria, I, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. Ah! I knew what happens, I just walked out the cafeteria, nigga. I ain't wanna be a part of the crime scene. Just dip. Now, some down on me. Some say, "Hey man, go by the office. Make sure the little white boy don't dime you out." <laughs> now I can't go in there because they gonna know it was me. I can't go in there. I'm just outside. <laughs> I'm just trying to hover around, trying to get some little eye contact with the little white boy. <laughs> Flicking my stop sign. Little white boy finally look up at me. And we lock eyes. And I hit him with the real shit. <laughs> <laughs> Little white boy held it down. Didn't say nothing about me, held it down. Got suspended for three days for biting three days. Came back to school. None of the kids teased him or bullied him no more. They, they gave him a little nickname. They called him Lil Hannibal. <laughs> when I see him on the playground, he go on the playground with his mouth open. <laughs> Last time I saw, I said, what's up, Lil' Hand? He said, shit, biting the motherfucker went necessary. <laughs> I said, shit, they should have made me a counselor. 